Hi guys, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. I haven't filmed or uploaded in about two weeks and I'm so sorry about that. I'm actually uploading, I don't think you can see through because of my light, I'm actually uploading at the moment on my laptop and I'm filming like seven videos to in, in the next few days. I'm going hardcore to get these videos out for you. So I'm, and um, this is going to be a small makeup haul from what I've got in there from Christmas and to the sales. And then, but before this, you will also, you will see my favourite nail polishes from 2014. They will be up first, then this will be up and then I've got, like I say, a hundred other videos that I need to film. So let's get stuck into the makeup. First product I've been dying to show you ever since I got it and this is the Cheeky Sweet Spot um, Tin by Benefit. This came out obviously in their Christmas collection and it is a tin full of every single one of their blushes that they sell. I'm not joking, every single one. Um, the pan size is the same like round circumference, I don't know what the word is, um, as their normal um, ones in the boxes, but they're not as deep, obviously. The ones that you get are Dandelion, Bella Bamba, Sugar Bomb, and the WhatsApp um, Cream Highlighter, one of their brushes, Rocketure, Coralista, and Hula. Now, I never actually had any um, blushes by them. I didn't really have any need or want. One of my friends has three or four, and she swears by them. I know the boxes last a really long time as well, but since I've got this, I think I've used it pretty much every day and um, maybe it's because there's so much variety. There's two that I like in particular and that is Coralista and Dandelion. Because I have quite fair skin, um, so having something like this is quite good because you have options. Um, Hula is obviously a really, really nice bronzer for light coloured skin. It's like a matte bronzer which is really nice as well. I just love this. I'm in love. If you want, I would highly recommend getting any of the blushes from now. I think they're about £20 for a full box one. If not, wait for this to come out next year. This was, I think, under £30, £25 or £30 for the, the full tin and let's face it you barely ever hit pan on blush especially have this many and I have others obviously that I use in the middle of all of these so I can highly highly recommend this um, I've been using a lot of Benefit recently and when I was younger Benefit was like really tacky to me I don't know why but now I've tried their products I absolutely love them so yeah check that out to start with and now I went on a little shopping trip to Boots and I only got three things um the first thing I got was something I needed no, I, I didn't need it. Um, I, if you've seen any of my empties videos with previously, you would see that I actually use um, clear mascara to set my eyebrows. My eyebrows are naturally this dark, and if I, it's very hard for me to find a brow gel that will be as dark to match them. So I find it's a lot cheaper and easier just to use clear um, mascara. I normally use the one by Collection 2000, but they were out of stock, so I went back to an old favourite, which is the Natural Collection by Boots Clear Mascara, and it's just called their Lash Care Mascara in Clear. Um, the only thing I don't like with this one so much is that you can't see when the um, liquid's getting a bit um, dirty, like the other ones, if you've seen my, them in my empties, they get a bit nasty. Um, so yeah, I do like this, it's only like £2, £2.50, so no bother, and I'll just replace it in a month with my normal one. Um, Rimmel have come out with, uh, lost my breath then, Rimmel have come out with a new Scandal Eyes Mascara, and this is the Scandal Eyes Mascara Extreme, and I got this in black. This has got a new brush in it compared to the other ones, um, and I actually really, really like this mascara. It's got two types, so you can either use the like, kind of domed arched effect or you can just use the normal one underneath. I really like um, plastic brushes on mascaras so if you like them too this will be something for you, that rhymed. Um, I did open this up and I found it was very wet the first day so I actually left it kind of half open for a couple of days and that has helped. Um, it spreads my eyelashes apart really nicely, it doesn't clump them, lengthens, volumizes, it's everything that a good drug store, drug store mascara should do so I really really like that. The last thing is that I have been looking for a new foundation for a while. I have a couple, but I don't really have the ideal kind of every day. I've got like BB creams for very light makeup days. I've got um, the Rimmel Stay Matte for very high coverage days, but I kind of wanted something in the middle. Um, I watched John Wild and Polish did a review on this, and this is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hours. Um, and she seemed to really like it. I want something that's medium coverage, that's going to last me a long time, and... This looks like it's doing pretty well so far. I have it on today. I've actually worn this twice, I believe, and mine is in the colour Pale, 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 Ghosty, Ghosty, 0 uh, Porcelain. I was just going to say ghost again then, because I'm just pale like a ghost. Um, this is a really nice colour match for me. Um, sometimes if I get the palest, it kind of makes me even paler. Um, so on the, like, the Rimmel Stay Matte, I have two shades that I mix. This seems to be pretty good for me. I might have to buy one, the one darker for summer and mix them. But for now, I really like this. If you've got dry skin, I wouldn't say it would be that great for you. But if you have any other type, that's probably going to be pretty good. Um, so next, we'll go on to um, some products by NYX. 
The NYX, if you haven't heard of it before, is an American makeup brand that's kind of coming over here into the UK. You can buy NYX at Next, the store. Um, so if you go on NYX's website, it will actually, I think you have to go, I think they've got a UK website and it will direct you to the um, branches of Next that sell NYX. That's hard to say. Um, so I found one that was about half an hour away from me. So I drove there a couple of weeks ago to see what they had. They actually reduced all of the NYX products to half price. I don't know if this was just a Christmas deal or if they're getting rid of them to go. Um, but so I picked up everything that I could find that I wanted and um, it kind of had been raided because it had been half price but I got some good stuff still so the first three things I got were two of their butter glosses there were a lot more of these there but I decided just to go for these two so this is cupcake and this is peach cobbler and I'm actually going to put some more of this on because I did have this on when I started filming that's better, so I just put a little bit of that one on. They literally look like the colours that they are in the tubs. Um, I do prefer Cupcake a lot more to Peach Cobbler, just because Peach Cobbler is, it's not as orangey as, as it looks, but it's still not an everyday shade for me. Um, but Cupcake is really, really nice. I also then got one blush and one bronzer. So the blush that I got was um, Mauve, or Mave, Mauve, Morph, however you want to say it. This is the colour anyway. It's a really nice corally rose toned blush i really don't like pink blush this i don't know if this is picking up pink on the camera or not but i really like this sort of color the baby pinks and the light pinks i just, I just don't like and i don't know why but this is the kind of blush for me um the one that i also really wanted was taupe which is apparently meant to be really nice for contour for uh, really really pale ghosty girls like i am but in the meantime i got mauve and i'm pretty happy with that one the bronzer that I got came in this lovely little box, and this is the NYX Tango with Bronzing Powder Mix, and this is in Tribal Odyssey. So it comes in this beautiful little container here. So if I pop up the top, this is what it looks like. So they actually have one of these to swatch, which is good, because otherwise I wouldn't have bought it. Bronze is Bronzer and contour is very hard for me because I am so pale, but this looked really nice because you've got the mixture of kind of like a peach tone, a gold tone, a light bronze and a highlighter all kind of swished together. So that's how I use it. I just whirl my, br uh, my brush around and just pop it on. I have got it on today. It's just quite nice and subtle. You, if you were heavy handed with it, you still could make yourself look too dark, but I just found that this was a nice color for my skin tone. The brush that comes with it is also very nice and it kind of evenly disperses the, um, bronzer and also you can use it that way to do your contour overall i really really liked it um i don't have that many bronzers in my collection so i'm going to get a lot of use out of that one but that was the tribal odyssey from in the nyx um mosaic blushes the last two things the first one is the olala kit set by um soap and glory i got this in the sale from boots it was 16 down to eight and um, they had quite a lot of sets in the sale after christmas they just they just reduced and um i wanted a couple of the sets more so say they had five things in a in a, a kit I wanted two to really, really, really badly, but I didn't really want the other three. And a lot of people were just buying it for the sake of it, but I decided I wouldn't do that. So I, the one that I decided to get in the end was um, the Olala, oh La, and this has got the Orange Gasm, Orange Gasm, sorry, Orange Gasm body wash, which everybody says is one of their like iconic scents and flavors. And then that also came with a little body butter, and it also came with a little super tonic fragrance scent. I look after some sort of everyday spray body mist that I can just kind of pop on if I'm just running around. Um, to do some chores or if I'm just in the house just something to give me a little bit of scent so I'll definitely be getting a good use out of that and for eight I think this is almost eight pounds by itself so I got a good deal what can I say now the last product is really really exciting to me it might not be exciting to anybody else but to me this is so exciting um basically the brand NARS I want something from NARS so, so badly. Um, I was talking to my friend about this a little while ago and she managed to actually get a set from NARS from the internet, which is like a little gift set, which is obviously somebody had bought and didn't want. Um, and I didn't even think anything of it. I just, she'd bought it. And then recently I gave her loads of my hair products. I keep buying shampoos that are not good for my hair. I have really, really fine hair and I keep buying stuff that makes it really greasy. So I gave her like 10 bottles of shampoo recently and in return she came down with the little NARS blush and highlight set that she got. Basically, apparently the uh, blush that she had, bl blush that came in the set, which is Orgasm, she has a dupe of it in another brand. So she said she wasn't going to use it, which is so sweet. So thank you, Ruth, if you're watching. I Ruth is one of my only friends that I talk about YouTube with. Um, I don't know why. Maybe I should bring her in a video because she her makeup is flawless um so this is what it is and it is a obviously orgasm which is a like kind of shimmery gold to um this a similar pink actually to this that's the shade that i like um and then this comes with what is the um 
highlight called Hungry Heart 2 is the highlight. Um, so that, that is a really nice sample size. The only thing is that they're obviously quite small, so I have to use a smaller brush to pick up the product. Um, but I'm going to get a lot of use out of that, and I'm just so excited. Just look at that. I'm oh, sorry, I can't even shut it now. I'm just so excited that I own something by NARS. That might sound really sad, but any makeup geeks out there would know if you wanted a product so bad and you get it, it's the best feeling ever. So that is the NARS duo in Hungry Heart 2 and Orgasm. So that was today's makeup and a little bit of body um, product haul. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up and I will see you all soon with so many nail polish videos. Bye.